hi this is go in this video i'm going to show you how to replace the third the license plate lamp for Corolla my uh, this instruction can be used for Corolla my uh, first and second generation that means the first program the first version of Corolla my and uh, the Toyota my v like best and also the my v icon so did those cars they have uh, they have the license plate in the middle of the car so the example car used will be this Corolla my 1. this Corolla my 1.3 icon so what tools do you need you need of course is a replacement bulb which is t5 like this t5 uh, be very careful when you're choosing the t5 bulb because they both have different lengths huh? okay so if you notice the one on the right on my on the right hand side is a little bit longer than the one on the left hand side so this so avoid this kind use this kind then you can also use this uh, you can also replace it with this uh, Oslo W5 W T5 uh, bulb and you also need a Philips uh, screwdriver for this case itself okay and uh printed on this uh flip screwdriver is ph2 so ph2 is kind of is kind of tip all right so first use the screwdriver to remove the screw from here put the get a better view the this is where the screw is so put in there and then unscrew the screw okay i'm gonna pause the video while i'm unscrewing the screw itself okay after that the screw has been removed so hold grab hold of the lens grab hold the lens and remove it from the holder itself so slide the lens to the left and take it off this way it's slide to the left because there is a groove on this side that will actually catch on to the uh crash onto the uh, side there's a pole like this on this end and they will crash onto the groove over there okay then remove the bulb which is uh, not working and replace it i'm going to use this okay i'm going to use this kind which is the philips uh not philips uh, the awesome w5w for this case so what you can do now is look for the Look for the slot in here. The slot in here. Look for the slot in here. The slot in here says that the bulb have to go in vertically in this direction. That means this clip must go in vertically. So align the hole and the and the bulb itself. But I'll need two hands for this. Huh? So I'm going to pause the video to insert the bulb into its place. Okay, the bulb is has gone in. I put it in, but I'm not going to cover the cover yet. I'm going to test whether. Uh, the bulb is working and because this is a LED from uh, Osram so the bulb will only go in one direction so if it, if it works it works if it doesn't work I need to pull it out turn the other way around and put it in so what I can do is to go to the car and turn on the position lamp by twisting one one groove so the light lights up and let's have a look Oh, okay. By so of good luck, I got it in correct place. So the bulb, the bulb works. Okay, the other one, the other one is working. So this one just it will work. So it doesn't work. Just take it off, turn it 180 degrees, slot it back in again, and it's going to work. Okay. Next comes the replacement of the lens. Okay, I've got the lens with me. So align the groove, this groove, against the the. Oh, sorry, align this pole here, this little pole here against the groove over there. So at the same time, just align the cover this way. Slot it in. Slot it in top first. Then align. Make sure it sits in, make sure it sits in properly. So okay what i've done is i have aligned the the whole the pole just now with the groove so it goes in perfectly so uh 
look and look from a different angle make sure that the housing is seated properly look from this side okay housing seated properly then you can replace the screw and then screw it back in okay i have replaced the screw already and i've also tightened up the screw so uh, i've already replaced the uh, the broken uh, i've already replaced the the valve in the uh, reverse in the side in the license plate lamp okay so i hope this video helps uh, and thank you for watching to my next video bye bye